Hello everyone, I'm Sewega Edward at Media. I'm glad to meet you here. And today's tutorial, I want to take you through the easiest way to render a small workable alpha video from After Effects that you can use in any of other projects from probably Premiere Pro or Camtasia. Uh, this can be a button, a lower third, a bumper, or a logo that is transparent. Where the problem is, After Effects has a tendency of exporting some big size lower thirds or alpha videos that it tend to, to be big as 10 gigabytes, 6 gigabytes, and of the kind. So that is the problem here we are trying to solve. So without wasting anything like time, let's rush right away to my After Effects project I'm trying to work with, and i show you how I can overcome the problem. As you can see, I have a, a lower third I'm working on. It is for my channel. As you can see, it's playing. It's a lower third. Like that. So I want to export it as it is, without the background. How can I do that? And how can I know that is it is a transparent Sun Alpha one? To prove it, you come here at the sub-menu of After Effects, here down of the preview, and you get a square. You click here, on and off, on and off, like that. It can prove you that there is no background. Whenever you see this uh, blank checked background, it shows that there is nothing like a background. And uh, this one you're seeing, it's just a placeholder. There's nothing like it, a background. So from there, we go straight away to composition. Because we want to export this to composition. And we click add to render queue. Or we can, we can place control plus M if you are on a Windows computer. Once you're on a, on a Mac, you have to press command plus m so i have placed let me use add to render i have placed it has taken me directly to the render queue down to the render queue we go to looseless looseless out uh, the out module of looseless it takes us to our uh, to, to, to to the setting this output setting module uh, you come here we don't we don't have a have a lot to change here we're only going to deal with the video output uh we come here with this channel because we are dealing with the channel because we want the video to stay rgb red and black as it is as colored as is it means rgb but when it has no background that is the alpha part so we come here and we select rgb plus alpha it means the video is going to be as colored as it is that is the rgb plus alpha it has no background alpha means transparent so from there we are going to click ok so you, we have we have a, an output module we can click here and we choose where we want to take our video for my preference, I'm going to take it to Documents. I click here, Documents. You may take it where you want to take it. And from there, uh, we are going to render like this. It is rendering, as you can see. Uh, After Effects is going to give us a warning when it's done. It's going to take less than a minute. Because it's it's a bit small, but your disappointment is going to you're going to find it on the size how heavy it's going to be, because it's going to be approximately two gigabytes plus, and that's where the problem is, the problem we're trying to solve, because the the lower third is going to be as heavy as two gigabytes, which is never worth it for the job, yet we can have as small as 4 MBs or less. Hear the bell. Boom. Means that we're done with rendering. We go where we have saved. 
for my case which is which is document as you can see it so here is where the problem is let's go to its properties to see how big it is we cl right click we go to properties here you see it is approximately 2 gigabyte is 1.89 which is approximately 2 gigabytes a lower third as you saw it in after effects it's never worth it to come out like this this is a very common problem we're trying to solve so this is the problem let's go to the solution right away we are going to go through the same process as we started let's go back to after effects our project is here as you remember it is the same this one yeah so we go back here our very process we, we go to composition add to render queue once we click that it brings us back to render queue when there's a new copy of a uh, lower third youtube lower third to render the setting is looseless as as last time we did we click looseless and uh, this time round we are going to do the same thing video output we go to channel rgb and alpha the difference is here this is where the solution is from there we go to format options Format options, we go to video codec. Video codec, there's a lot of options which are irrelevant for our demonstration today. All the only option we want today is TechSmith screen capture codec. We click that, we're done, we come, we click OK. The option becomes blue or something changes color and we place ok and we come here for we, we try to redirect it we're going to leave it in the very position for me i'm taking it to i'm taking it to documents you have a right to take it anywhere i'm taking it there and we are rendering now we render that is the smaller one going to take us a let less than seconds when it's done from there we are going to go where it has gone which is documents and we check the size so we shall have a compulsion which will help us know that we have solved anything or not as i've told you uh, the first one was this YouTube lower third it is approximately 2 GB this is the second one it is 5 GB I think you can see the difference the difference is here ah, as you can see we're making a compulsion here ah, as you can see this is approximately 2 gigabyte and this is 5 MBs. So this is the solution. This is the problem. Uh, let me show you the applicability of these alpha videos. I was, I was telling you at the beginning. They apply this way. I have a, my video project I'm trying to work on currently. It is here. It is in Adobe Premiere Pro. I to... I, I want to import uh, one of, let me import this, the smaller one, to it directly here. You see? This is what it does. This is what it does. It's not a twin media logo. You can use any other. But since After Effects is very creative in doing these things better than any other software.
I, I preferably do it in After Effects and I bring it this software like Premiere Pro or Camdesia. Thank you for watching this video, please. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Comment in the comments section below. I'll be grateful to hear from you.